New here at four, it is a bucket list experience, but now you can do it from the comfort of America's center ballroom. Seeing is believing in the beauty of the Sistine Chapel. News 11's Patrick Clark shows us how it's being brought to downtown St. Louis. They have moved part of the Vatican to the Midwest. And if you want to see the Sistine Chapel, then you have to come to downtown St. Louis and the America Center Ballroom. Michelangelo didn't want to want to have anyone see this before it was done. He literally lived up on the scaffolding for five years, almost five years, never left it. Most of them are, you know, eight or nine by 18 feet, each of them. And in order to reproduce this and make it look and feel like a fresco, we had to search for special fabric, special print material. And this is art that was created in 1505. And we're bringing in modern technology because there's an app. And you can download the app and you can actually point it at any of these frescoes and then listen to the description of the biblical scene that is being recreated by Michelangelo. Michelangelo spent five years creating his masterpiece on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. You can spend a socially distant afternoon taking pictures and taking in the enormity of the experience with plenty of space for social distancing and soaking in the 1500s through the end of 2020. Plus, patrons can help their own region during this pandemic. This is supporting the jobs of St. Louisans. We have decorators, we have ticket takers, uh, we have all kinds of personnel that is supporting this exhibit. Uh, and that's really important when you take into consideration how hard hit the tourism industry has been by this pandemic. If you come here, you will see these frescoes like no pope has ever seen them before because no pope was ever up that close. In downtown St. Louis, via the Vatican, Patrick Clark, News 11.